So it's not easy to get access to it because you've got to get a set of step ladders to get up here in the first place. But it's far better than most electrics that I've seen in in Thailand. And as I said, there's there's the main isolator switch. And then we've got all the fuses going along there for various devices. As you see, there's a little gap there. There shouldn't be. There should be filler plates in there so you can't stick your fingers in there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go. I'm going to take the front off, and then we'll have a look, see what's behind it. And take the front front off, and now you see my fuse board. I'm used to the UK electrics and looking at this we've got the buzz bar on the top of the fuses here. In England we always put the buzz bar along the bottom and then we put all of these cables coming out of the top. Now as you can see there's the main cables coming in from the from the street and they've been connected and then taped up there's a number of neutrals behind there that have been taped up as well. Um, the neutral bar is full. And the earth bar is full. There's one space left on the earth bar. And some of the red live cables are also being taped together. So you've got two going into one. There's none of them on a 32 amp fuse. So I can't find the main earth um, bar or ele earth electrode to actually check its contents or check that it's fitted okay. So I've actually fitted a new earth rod and I'm going to run the cable in into this box. Now these are MCBs, miniature circuit breakers. Although these give protection it's just very very basic protection and as I say this switch isolates everything and then so if there's a problem that one of these would go off but what I'm going to do I'm going to upgrade the board and I'm going to put a, an RCD in here which will cover all of the circuits but the trouble is fitting one RCD it lends itself to nuisance tripping so if one of the bulbs went then it would knock everything off on this fuse board but I'm eventually going to put some RCBOs in there. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 12, 12 fuses there or MCB. So that was going to cost me about 6,000 baht if I change everything over to RCBOs. But for RCD, it's 450 baht. So I'm going to put the RCD in first and then gradually change them over to uh, RCBOs. So what I'm going to have to do at the present is take the buzz bar off, redress all of these lots so they come in the top, and then put the buzz bar at the bottom here. So that's the improvement I'm going to do to the fuse board. That's the basic, basic improvement. We've lived like this for five years, but I'm an electrician and I always believe in safety so I'm going to do a little bit at a time by putting an RCD it's the first step there is many things that we're going to do to improve this house so what I've got here is a is a socket tester oh these are wonderful things again I've not very expensive off Lazada and so I've got this and I'm going to go and check some of the the sockets that are around here so I'm going to check some of the sockets around the, the kitchen so what this does it checks to see the polarity and the earth and that shows me that there's 229 230 volts two lights are flashing yeah two lights are on so that means everything is okay here which is where all my computer stuff is it shows that there's a, a earth missing or open earth so I need to check that out but if I go up the sockets outside which are all connected to this open the door open the door and 
plug that in that shows that everything is okay although on the video it looks as if it's flashing it isn't it so it's okay so the other electrical things I'm going to be doing just tidying up really just things that I don't like and shouldn't be allowed really is we've got some wall lights on there and as you can see the cables are just joined together and taped up now again this isn't waterproof so it could become live under fault conditions so that's not very good so I'm gonna tidy them cables up and put them in a box so it's all waterproof as well and I've got another one there you see there's a little gecko playing around at the back of the wire so this is a little, a little light sensor and I'm going to improve that as well and put that in into a box although it's protected from the rain I don't like it because the cables are exposed as you can see there's our meter there total, totally exposed to the elements water and rain can get in and at least this one belongs to our neighbour but there's a three phase supply in there and as I say here's a closer look on would this be allowed in America or in England certainly not so there's nothing I can do about that because the the cable goes over the road comes from over the road down there and it goes into the ground somewhere and where it goes nobody knows I still haven't found out where it goes to yet but like I said I'm putting a, a new earth rod in and we've had all of this like concreted now so the concrete is, is all set and hard and that's where our earth rod is and it's going to come up there go into the ceiling and go into the house I just want to show you one thing with this this house and with regard to the electrics in Thailand put in there and although on the camera it looks as if the lights are flashing but it's not there's two lights on there to say there's an earth okay and the circuit is okay there's a good earth and alive and the neutral is in the right position but let me show you so this is what surprised me when I extended this and I put it onto a, a box because we had a, another circuit going somewhere else and I tapped into this just to just for ease really because it was an outside socket so when we undo this excuse the dogs barking in the background if I leave this house you'll be able to see what you're dealing with here as you can see you see there there's three I can see properly there yeah this the blue and the brown of what I put in because I extended the cables but there's three cables there all red one goes to the live one goes to the earth and one goes to the neutral so somewhere is in this installation that red wire which is the earth wire connects to an earth cable somewhere I suggest probably up in the loft somewhere so if somebody would want to extend a cable and they found a red cable there and they think oh that's alive could tap into that one and then it's dangerous because then they actually making the earth cable alive that's just a few of the things I'm going to be doing with regard to the sockets and the cable over here I don't know whether you can see in that corner but again we've got two light sensors in there with all exposed cables so, so there's a few things to do here with regard to the electrics so if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down
and watch this space because I'm going to be doing improvements to the electrics. Now I'm going to put another video up here. Now this was done a while ago and it's how dangerous the electricity system is here in Thailand. I'd strongly suggest watching this video because it is a very very powerful video and there's a couple of fires in this video and most people say I'd smell the smoke, I'd get out early warning but these two fires that I've put on to another video they're actually both fires in daylight so the people who say I'd smell smoke and things like that so get the smoke detector as an ex firefighter we used to put detectors in all the time get the smoke detector that is going to protect you more than anything else in in the world because it's going to give you early warning if there's a problem now again check your electrics make sure that everything is okay so from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.